Hello Underdogger, it's your boy Underdog Recapped. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, we are going to recap a Korean action comedy movie released in 2012, called Return of the Mafia. After losing their dearest family member to an accident, three brothers from a group of legendary mafia decide to retire from their criminal underworld to respect their passing family. However, things do not go well when these brothers are faced with threats from someone close and also from other crime syndicates. Will they succeed in solving these threats? Let's find out together, in a doggy-styled recap. The movie starts with Park running toward a rescue team, begging for help. However, it is already too late to save his wife, Jin Kyung, because she was already dead when the rescuer came to save them from a car accident. Days after the death of Jin Kyung, the whole family gathers to discuss an important matter. Yung Jong, who is the head of the legendary mafia known as Triple J was grief-stricken by the death of his only daughter. To respect the passing of Jin Kyung, Yung Jong announces to his son-in-law and all three of his sons, In Tae, Sok Tae, and Kyung Tae, that he decides to retire the whole gang from the criminal underworld by forming a legal construction company instead. Ten years after forming a new company, Park is now working as the company's CEO, with In Tae as his assistant. However, In Tae seems to lack in skill and attitude to work in a formal company as he used to be a mafia member. After a meeting with a foreign client, Park complains about In Tae impolite behavior in front of their client. They then argue with each other as Park tries to remind In Tae that he is the CEO of their company and In Tae should obey him. Amidst their disagreement, a woman named Hyo Young and Park's son arrives, stopping them from debating. As In Tae was told to leave the room, he couldn't help but stare at Hyo Young, whom he deemed a threat to their family business. Meanwhile, the other two brothers now work as private investigators after retiring from their mafia life. However, as they too lack skills in different fields, they failed to solve an affair case for their client and even lost their camera. At night, the three brothers meet up for dinner. They discuss how unfortunate they are now after their father dissolved the gang. In Tae then tells his brothers that they would not end up like this if Park did not usurp their power in the company. In a flashback, they recall an event years ago when the three brothers used to be an executive in their father's company. They used to abuse their power for their gain, which infuriated their father. Yung Jong then removed his sons from the executive board and appointed Park to be the company's CEO, leading the three brothers to submit their power. Since then, they all live in misfortune while Park holds all the company matters, making them envious. One day, in Tae's son Min gets in a fight after saving a girl named Jay from a group of boys. After defeating the bullies, he is taken into custody by the local police. Later at night, Yung Jong punished his three sons, blaming them for not teaching his grandson to stay away from problems. Just before Yung Jong punishes In Tae, Min steps up and asks to take his father's punishment. However, In Tae refuses to punish his son and urges Min to punish him instead as he failed to teach his son. After that, Min feels guilty and promises his father to stay away from fighting. Some days after, Min and Jay go on a movie date. When they walk home together, suddenly a sports car stops in front of them. A man named Choi then walks out of the vehicle toward Min and Jay. Choi insults Min's appearance in front of Jay and then asks Jay to go with him instead, with which she complies. They then left Min to walk home by himself. Back at the office, In Tae eavesdrops on Park and his executive conversation about acquiring more company shares while mentioning the three brothers. Hearing this, In Tae thought Park was trying to get all the shares from himself to prevent the three brothers from having a part of the company. At night, In Tae gathers his brothers to discuss a plan to remove Park from the company. Their hatred toward Park is now reaching its limit as they feel betrayed by Park. They then sneak into Park's room the next day and plant some microphones and hidden cameras to spy on Park. When they hear Park's conversation from the hidden microphone, they believe everything Park said is a plan to dispose of them, even though Park did not say anything related to their suspicion. In search of more evidence, Kyung and Sok follow Park and Hyo Young secretly. The two brothers suspect that Park and Hyo Young have a special relationship and take their photos as evidence. Meanwhile, In Tae, who is playing checkers with his father, asks what if Park turns out to be with another woman. But Young Jong dismissed In Tae's question and said that it was impossible. One night, Min and Jay have another date at a nightclub. When they were dancing on the dance floor, Choi and his men watched from a distance. Choi then walks toward the couple and forcefully pulls Jay's hand. On reflex, Jay refuses by pulling his hand back from Choi. Seeing Jay's refusal, Choi tries to slap Jay but is stopped by Min. Then Min asks Jay to go home, but Jay suddenly changes her attitude as if he was afraid of Choi and chooses to go with Choi. Min looks confused by Jay's sudden change in attitude. When Choi and Jay were about to leave the place, 
Choi suddenly turned around and hit Min in front of everyone. Min, who was about to fight back, abandoned his intention because he was bound by a promise to his father not to fight. Seeing Min hesitate, Choi took the opportunity to beat Min with his men. Meanwhile, Mong Chi, an old friend of the three brothers is plotting a plan to take over Triple J Company for his boss by using the three brothers' hatred toward Park. The next day, the brothers try to set up some hidden cameras in Hyo Young's office to dig for more evidence. However, they almost got caught when Hyo Young walked into the room. Kyung and Sok then pretend to be a donator interested in Hyo Young's charity and successfully escape after Sok makes Hyo Young angry. When they reviewed the result of their hidden camera, they could not find any evidence from with Hyo Young. The three brothers now feel hopeless because they never get the chance to get rid of Park. But suddenly, Mong Chi comes and invites them to meet at an entertainment club. Then Mong Chi offers to help them and suggests a plan to frame and blackmail Park using his female assistant, who turns out to be Mong Chi's subordinate. After that, their plan begins with the assistant pretending to be sat at a bar. Park passed by and recognized his assistant and then approached her. They chatted for a while, and when Park was off guard, the assistant poured sleeping pills into Park's drink. When Park wakes up, he finds himself lying in a bed with his assistant. A shocked Park does not realize that there is a hidden camera set up in the room. Then, Mong Chi and the three brothers edit the tape to make it seem like Park was sleeping with his assistant. After successfully making a fake tape to blackmail Park, the brothers accidentally sent the video to their father instead of Park. This mistake makes Young Jong furious and sends his men to bring Park and end him. The brothers feel responsible for their mistake, then abduct Park before Young Jong's men catch him. They left Park far enough from Young Jong's men for his safety and warned him not to return if he wanted to live. The next day, the three brothers now sit on Park's CEO chair, celebrating their victory. Mong Chi then asks to buy 10% of the company shares for himself. The brothers feel indebted to Mong Chi's help and say they will give him 10% free. Unbeknownst to them, Mong Chi is plotting to take over their company for his boss. After Mong Chi left, one of the executives came to confront the brothers. The executive then explains that Park has been trying to secure the company shares to secure its ownership for the three brothers. The brothers have misjudged Park's action all along. It turns out Park has been preparing for his retirement from the company and planned to pass the management to the brothers instead of taking over for himself. To redeem their mistake to Park, the brothers then go to save him from their father's wrath. They stalk Hyo Young hoping that she will lead them to Park. They do not realize that Park disguises himself as a different person when he meets Hyo Young at a cafe. Not long after, the brothers then decide to interrogate Hyo Young directly to ask about Park's whereabouts but still could not get a clue where he is. To help Park, Hyo Young takes care of Park's son when Park hides from Young Jong's men. Park then comes out of hiding to meet with his son and Hyo Young. For a moment, the three of them look like a happy family. A while later, the brothers find Park's whereabouts and confront him. The brothers then admit that the fake tape was their doing and ask for Park forgiveness. They also say that they will help Park clear his name and save him from their father. After that, Park returns to his office and continues his plan to pass the company to the three brothers. In the meantime, the brothers confront their father and admit all their mistakes to Park. In Tae returns to meet Young Jong at night, telling him that this happens because Young Jong decides to retire them from the mafia life. In Tae mentions that Young Jong's sons are having a hard time to adapt with normal life because they only knew about fighting as they were told to choose that path by their father from the start. Young Jong also feels guilty for forcing his will on his family but insists that doing this will give a better chance for their grandchildren to be free from the criminal underworld. Later, In Tae is crying by himself, thinking about all of his wrongdoing. His wife then finds him and tells In Tae that their son needs him. In Tae then approaches Min, asking about his problem. Min says to his father that it is hard to keep his promise when people walk over him if he holds himself. In Tae then tells Min to fight if he has to, and his father will take responsibility for him. A day after, Min confronts Choi again to free Jay from his clutch. He then challenges Choi and his men, stating that he will not hold back anymore because his family finally lets him stand up for himself. Jay tries to save Min by asking Choi to ignore him, but Choi confidently thinks he can beat Min again. Soon after, a brawl ensues, with Min fighting against Choi and his men. After defeating all of Choi's men and Choi himself, Min and Jay leave the scene, finally free from bullies. Back at the office, Park and the three brothers meet to pass his position as the CEO to the brothers. However, the brothers ask Park to stay with the company as its CEO while they submit their letters to confirm their resignation from the company business. Park hesitantly accepted their resignation but planned to get the brothers back later. 
Just after dealing with the company matter, Inte received a call from Mongchi asking about the 10% shares Inte promised him earlier. Inte tells Mongchi to forget about it because he had resigned from the company. Hearing that, Mongchi is fueled with rage and decides to kidnap Park to take over the company. When Park and Hyo Young are going back from a dinner date, a van pulls over and abducts Park. Hyo Young then immediately calls the three brothers to save Park. Soon after, the three brothers and Hyo Young arrive at the place where Mong Chi took Park hostage. They confront Mong Chi and his gang with Park hanged on the ceiling. A brawl ensues, with the brothers initially beating Mong Chi's men one by one. However, when Mong Chi's men try to make Park falls from the air, the three brothers start to waver and suffer heavy blows to save Park. When the hope seems to fade, In Tae finds a water cannon and sprays it toward Mong Chi and his men, forcing them to back away. One of Mong Chi's men tries to hit In Tae from the back, but Hyo Young shows up and knocks the man out. After freeing Park, both sides stand off with In Tae challenging Mong Chi, who holds a sword in his hand. But suddenly, a white hat flies out of nowhere and knocks the sword off Mong Chi's hand. Yung Jong, the legendary mafia leader, shows up, causing Mong Chi's men to disperse. Then, In Tae easily beat Mong Chi, ending the brawl. The film ends with everyone finally solving both their internal and external problems. Yung Jong, who sees Hyo Young as a perfect candidate for his son-in-law, then decides to abduct them both and put them in a room together, sealing their love with the help of the three brothers. Trust is an important thing to keep harmony in our family. With trust and loyalty, we ensure our long-lasting relationship with those close to us. What would you do if you and your sibling were born into a legendary mafia family? Let us know what you think in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you, in our next recap.